This is one of Nigeria's government-run oil refineries in the city of Port Harcourt. But most of its operation has been shut down to upgrade equipment and facility. The government plans to hand over these money-losing ventures to investors to run after decades of mismanagement. Africa's biggest oil producer has turned from self-sufficiency in refined petroleum products in the 1970s and 80s to now a net importer of the products. Its four plants continue to operate well below capacity and sometimes shut down for months. Officials say that has to stop. What we have done different now is to make sure that we know what we are doing, we know who will do it, and we go back to the original refinery builder, such a way that you would not be making no mistakes about the delivery of that project. And that is well on course. Finance is on ground for one of them. We are working with our partners to make sure that we have alternate financing for the two other two refineries. There's a new urgency to complete the commercialization process. Nigeria has been hit by lower oil prices and a weakened global demand. The government, desperate to show up its revenue base, sees the refineries as a way out of an expensive fuel import regime, subsidized at more than $2 billion a year. Nigeria's refineries are about to face their toughest competition yet. Africa's biggest refinery, owned by the continent's richest man, Ali Kodangote, will soon start production in Nigeria. It has the capacity to refine 650,000 barrels of oil a day, compared to the combined capacity of 445,000 in government-owned facilities. All industry sources say between July and September last year, the country imported more than 5 billion liters of refined products. A subsidy program that allowed those connected to politicians to steal hundreds of millions of dollars annually has caused the government huge losses in the past. It scrapped the subsidy three years ago. But still, the losses continue to mount. There we have a line of sight with when this will be achieved, when this will be uh, delivered, and ultimately we can be, oh, Nigeria will become the hub of petroleum product in the West African sub-region. As a matter of fact, uh, we are expecting a reverse flow of product from, from West Africa to other regions of the world. Some Nigerians say they are cautiously optimistic. If these national assets are revamped, and properly run, uh, in spite of the age of the technologies that, that produced them over 50 years ago, there are still refineries of that age around the world that are still fully functional. So I think they can be rejigged to a point where they will still come back to their functionality, but in such a way that the, the government of Nigeria, the peoples of Nigeria still have their stake in the refineries. Officials insist this time it will be different. But Nigerians who saw hundreds of millions of dollars lost through the subsidy program say they'll wait to see how and when the government delivers on its promise. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja.